doing here, and today we are doing the before video of this. Now this is a Razor 360. Don't worry about my dogs, they're just running a rabbit. So as you can see, I have put camouflage duct tape on the handlebars and grips just because it looked cool. And I put duct tape on the tires for like tires, like when they wear out, you need to get new tires. So I need to get new tires. So this was a pink Razor 360 and I haven't seen that. We got it brand new actually, it was pink. But I put a Honda sticker on it because Honda life. Um, and it was pink, so we spray painted it, but we didn't put a clear coat on it, which is, was our biggest mistake. And we took the kind of fender, wheel fenders off to make it look sportier, but to turn really sharp without drifting out of control, you have to use this. And if your hand gets caught in there, it's going to go into here, and then you're going to be hurt very bad. I put a CR sticker right there, once again a Honda reference. We lost this little end cap, I think it's all the way over there in the grass. But yeah, as you can see, rust is all in there. So, but we'll put the end cap back on. Let's put a fresh set of tires. So now I'm going to unbolt the seat so I can get duct tape on it more easily. So it'll be camouflaged. So I think this is gonna be a five or six mil. I got my, some ratchet wrenches. They're not ratchet wrenches. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a six mil, I think. Just kidding, it's a five mil. So I'll give you guys some pictures of the project as they come. Okay, so I accidentally spilt the spray paint from up there on that shelf. That's our brighter colors. This is our darker colors. And I, I decided to spray paint my seat. With duct tape, it would be too wasteful. We're gonna use this kind of camo color. So we're gonna drill a hole in the top of the chair for painting purposes. and we're gonna stick wire through that hole. Here's some. I cut a length of wire off here. There we go. Now I'm gonna spray paint it off camera so I won't get any spray paint on my camera lens. So we finished the first coat. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's not the best, but you can still see where the duct tape got ripped off and rubbed off the black paint. Now this is just the first coat. And we're gonna do this tan. Here's the color detailing so it'll look like kind of army camo if you know what I'm talking about so here's the second coat it looks much better in real life I don't know about on camera it hasn't fully dried yet but we're gonna give it a clear coat so what happened before won't happen again so here we are with the tan detailings it looks orange on camera but in real life it's actually tan so there's the front and there's the back so we're going to be gone for about an hour so this thing can dry fully and then we're going to put the clear coat on, put it on, but we're going to like strip this thing down and spray paint it. Okay guys, so about actually two hours later, we're coming back from a concert I had to do. So, let me see guys, those lights don't work half the time yet. We got to rewire them. Yep, can't really see that. There we go. Um, it's like, it's dry, it's still a little sticky, but it's good, so, now, and you know, one thing that concerns me is we didn't get, um, plastic bonding for the main coat. We got some polyurethane and we're going to put it on now. Okay, so we've got the polyurethane coat on now. We got it fully coated, so now we just gotta wait for it to dry. And in the meantime, we're gonna work on some other stuff. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do now is take these two bolts out. Then it'll slide this front wheel off, so we can get to this and paint it up. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up because so now we just got the wheel off. Now 
we're gonna probably put a fender on this so I can actually control my turns. So yeah. So this is it with the masking tape. We're painting the wheel. Without it cut with a razor blade, we're gonna cut the razor blade and make it just a little bit more fine. So now we've got it surrounded where we don't want to paint with tape. So now we're gonna proceed to paint. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's gonna be this tan paint. Okay guys, so check out Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover. It's awesome. This is one coat and it looks like two. I love this paint because if you need multiple coats, you only have to put one. So it's basically times two each coat. So if I put two coats on, in reality it would be four. Okay, so we're pulling the tape now. So we did paint it um, tan. So. And this one bonds to plastic. I mentioned earlier the other one didn't. This one does. Hopefully that other one won't be a problem. That's awesome. So this has been part one. Part two will be up tomorrow, hopefully. So what we've done today is we've stripped this down except for the wheels. We have painted both sides. That's the other side, actually. And we've painted the seat. So I think it's a pretty productive day. Tomorrow I want to put fenders on, put this wheel back on. Wait, we need to put the clear coat on the wheels and put the seat back on and maybe put some duct tape on the frame. I don't know, I kind of want to leave the frame like it is because I like the silver and the frame is going to get the most abuse because like what we do, we get each other in the tail right here and we kind of pit maneuver each other out. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave the frame like it is, but I like this duct tape. So that's part one. And as always, this is Adam Company. Stay frosty. Kind of pit, kind of pit, kind of pit. Mm. Mm.